Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Hala Anwar and I am your English grammar teacher. Today in this session we will talk about parts of speech. Parts of speech. Parts of speech are words of groups in English language that belongs to a different class. These uh, different words belong to a similar class that will define the English language or words. So there are eight parts of speech. As we can see here, it's nouns, pronouns, adjectives, verbs, conjunctions, prepositions, adverbs, interjections. We will first discuss about nouns. What are nouns? Nouns are also known as naming words. The words that shows the names of a person, place, animal or thing. Now moving on to pronouns. What are pronouns? Pronouns are words that are used in place of nouns. When we talk about nouns, we will mention a name, a name of a person, place, animal or thing. But when in the any when we write an essay or two sentences about a similar person, we will mention in the second sentence pronouns like we mention Ali is a boy but in the second sentence if we write about Ali we will use he he is a good boy the word he shows pronoun and the word Ali shows nouns now moving on to adjectives adjectives are also known as describing words they describe nouns the, uh, the words that describes noun like person, place, animal, thing, if we talk about a person, like I mentioned, Ali, if we talk about uh, he is a good boy, the word good would be adjectives. Now moving on to verbs. Verbs are also known as action words. Action words in a sense that they show the uh, action of nouns. Like I mentioned in the sentence, Ali is a good boy. When he shows action in a sentence, like uh, he is playing, the word playing would be verbs and it is showing the relation with Ali with noun, which is a noun. Now moving on to conjunctions. Conjunctions are like its name they show conjunction or they join two sentences two words or two phrases like uh, i am a girl but my brother is a boy it is two sentences i am a girl my, uh, uh, my brother is a boy there are two sentences but we join them together with but so the word but is conjunctions now moving on to next part of speech, prepositions. Prepositions, like its names, it shows position of the nouns. Like I said, he is sitting on the chair. On, the word on is a preposition. The train is passing through the tunnel. The word through is a preposition because it is showing the position of the noun. Now moving on to next part of the speech, they are adverbs. Adverbs show or describe more about the verbs. Like I mentioned in the sentence for the verb, Ali is playing. But uh, in, uh, if we show, want to show the adverbs as well, we will make a sentence like uh, Ali is playing cheerfully. So the word cheerfully is defining more about the verb playing and it is the word uh, cheerfully is adverb now moving on to the next part of speech interjections interjection shows sudden emotion feeling or in phases like uh, we when we see something uh, and we are surprised by it we will uh, uh, we will uh, say words like wow we will say words like hooray if we mention uh, in a sentence like, wow, what a beautiful flower, then the word wow is an interjection because it is showing sudden 
emotion. We always mention an exclamation mark after the interjections. So what are nouns? Nouns are the names given to person, place, animal or thing. Nouns are the names given to person, place, animal or thing. For example, father. Father is a name given to a person. City. City is the name given to a place. Bird. Bird is a name given to an animal. Pen. Pen is a name given to a thing, etc. When we use nouns in a sentence, the sentence would be like, My father's name is Hushid. Father here is a noun, but the, na the particular name given to this person is Hushid. So it is also a noun. Few more examples for noun. Uh, for uh, names given to people can be mother, sister, brother, uncle, nephew, niece, driver, and their representative names. Uh, examples for places can be city, sea, ocean, buildings, etc. And also their particular names given to them like uh, ocean for the example of ocean we can mention atlantic ocean and uh, for a uh, city we can mention karachi as a specific city and for a uh, country we will mention uh, pakistan as a specific country for the example of animals we can uh, uh, we can take example of sea animals birds uh, land animals and for their respective names, we, for sea animals, we can say fish. Fish is also a noun. And also shark. Shark is also a fish, but its name is shark. So it is also a noun for animal. For the example of things, we can mention like uh, the things present in our room, like Marker, this marker is a thing. This whiteboard is a thing. Uh, walls are a thing. Carpets are things. Even uh, ornaments or jewelries we wear are also things. Clothes are also things. So that's it for the noun. Now moving on to next topic. This, the topic is kinds of nouns. This is the end of this session, so stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.